I'm Dana Denhaw, and this is Art Fair Close Up 2018. I'm here with Jim Tucker, paintings by Jim. Tucker. So, <laughs> paintings, paintings by Jim Tucker. So, why don't you tell me a little bit about your background and how you kind of, I, it, it seems very floral, your work, but very expressive, too. Well, thank you. Um, my background is I have a, a fine arts degree from the University of Kansas. I studied art, and I loved painting as an elective, but I have an industrial design degree. Moved out to California, wanted to design automobiles worked for a corrugated uh, design company and did that for a year then I got a real bad illness called transverse myelitis and I was paralyzed dead and couldn't walk for had learned how to walk for three years and was at the Mayo Clinic. Anyway after that I, uh, I met my ex-wife and uh, we were married for seven years I have two daughters and once I got divorced I needed a outlet and I went to I was in North Carolina and started painting in the uh, botanical garden there and my friend saw some of my paintings and goes I'm going to enter you an art show in, in uh, Charlotte. I sold 12 paintings at that first art show and ever since then I haven't looked back. So that's, this is your full-time job now? This is my full-time job, yeah. yep. I do this. So I'm kind of like uh, Vincent Van Gogh, colors, makes you want to make you happy, real vibrant. And then I mix Jackson Pollock. I do all this outside and I throw and splatter. I was going to say, uh, that I straight out of the tube, right. so it gives it a lot of energy and life and happiness, because life's hard enough. Oh, I, these are this whole booth is so happy to me. We were really drawn to it when we were walking by, because it's like this whole nature thing, but it's also like abstract nature in a way which is just like a, your own unique take on it. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, I want to, it's expressionistic and I, I'm like a colorist meets uh, impressionist, you know, expression. Yes, yeah, so you're kind of like your own style. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I really think your story is interesting because it basically, you, it was a hobby. It, it was, but I have a fine arts degree, so I, I have a technical, you know, I, I used to ha do oils in, in college and stuff, but I like the fluidity of acrylic because I can throw straight out of the tube. I do everything outside on the ground at the beaches when I'm in Florida doing shows uh, here in uh, Ann Arbor, outside at the bot botanical gardens here also. So I love to paint outside and get the energy of the sun and the earth. Are you always doing like these sort of large scale paintings? Yeah, too? yeah, it's hard to do a small scale when I'm throwing because as you see on a lot of these lines here, it's hard to do that in a real little space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you have any, um, did you get any inspiration while you were here at the Botanical Gardens? Maybe yeah, you can see I something. Love, I love echinaceas and, uh, you know, sunflowers and all kinds of, you know, different types of flowers that I see in, in the garden. So it, it's real inspiring. It's beautiful here in Ann Arbor, the, their, their garden. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a website or anything? Paintingsbyjimtucker.com. And then people can see this stuff, but they can see more too? I'll be all over. I'll be back in... Uh, uh, this area in August, but uh, I go to Florida, I go to Phoenix, Chicago, all over the country doing this, Houston, so I'll be all over the country. <laughs> all right, keep your eyes out for Jim. Uh -huh. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for more from the Ann Arbor Art Fairs.